Hi everybody, this is Blaine at Orchids for the People, where we cater to the curious and longtime orchid addict. And today I've got kind of a big project ahead of me. Um, and I wanted to share it because it's kind of a cool plant. Um, we, I've talked about it before in, in past uh, videos. But uh, this is my Schomburkia. Uh This is Schomburkia superdiens alba. Uh, and it is enormous. Uh, it's whatever. 10 feet tall um, and it's basically been fairly untrimmed since about 1968 or so and uh, we are getting ready to overhaul the greenhouse and this back wall is coming down uh, for refurbishment and this plant needs to come down uh, in order to do that so I've decided that uh, it's gotten kind of um, old and dumpy enough in a couple of places that I am just going to break it down uh, as far as I possibly can and break it down into some divisions um, that are sellable um, because it's a fairly sought after plant. So uh, we're going to get started and uh, before I do that I just wanted to show you I've already done a little bit of trimming and down here I've got this pile of uh, and these are only divisions with leads on them and that pile is already fairly big um, I found this Bulbophyllum uh, This is daisy chain uh, in the middle of the plant and uh, It's somebody had thrown it up there who knows how long ago and uh, It's doing pretty well. It's getting ready to flower uh, There's a bunch of flower spikes on it and uh, just while I have the camera in hand, I'll show you some other stuff. So um, there is a, that's Epidendrum Parkinsonianum growing in there. There's this Streptocarpella down here. Um, what else is in here? Let's see if we can find something else. Uh, that, that whole middle right there, that is a Brassia. That's probably Brassia varicosa right there. Um, you can see where one of my numbskull employees threw another plant up there and it's starting to grow. That looks like a Cattleya of some kind. I thought I saw some. Oh, there's an Anthurium. Uh, let's see if you can see it right there. That's Anthurium scandens. It's a really cool Anthurium species that we sell. Um, it's one of the only real climbing, vining Anthuriums. Um... Here is what looks like another Bulbophyllum, maybe Cattleya. I'm not sure, it's hard to tell until I pull it out of there. It's gotta be a Bulbophyllum. Um, and then back here we have, it's really hard to see, but that's a rat's nest back there that we found. Um, we put a trap back there a long time ago and found a dead rat in the trap, so that smells super nice. Um, so I've gotten kind of this bottom taken care of and I'm going to start working my way up the top of the plant here and uh, we're probably going to do this in fast motion for you guys so you it's kind of fun to watch and I'm going to get this set up and we'll be off oh. Parkinsonianum See how long the flower spikes are. This one actually has a seed pod on it. Ah! Rat! It's getting kind of dusty and dirty and ratty. So I'm gonna put my COVID mask on. So I just wanted to show you guys. I mean, this is really just an ecosystem. I, those are rat tunnels right back in there, if you can see them. I hate rats, stupid rats. But, 
if you were a rat and needed some place to live, man, this thing is the bomb. Okay, to recap, we're down to it. It's kind of amazing how fast you can break down a 60 year old plant. Um, but we're down to it. Um, I got this side pretty much done and the bottom done. But it's time to break out my Cymbidium repotting tool, my Sawzall. And I'm gonna take off, this is all dead stuff for the most part. So I'm gonna take this off so that I can get up there underneath and, uh, and and start working on this top stuff, which is the more lush growth, is the stuff that was on top and right on the bottom, kind of around the edges. Oh, I think I found the pot. Ooh, look at that beauty. That's a super nice piece. Look at those roots. Holy smokes. Love it. We're making progress, as you can see. Um, it's kind of fun to, to do the autopsy on this thing. This looks like this was probably the original pot right here. It's a five inch pot. Oh wait, maybe I can take it out. Oh yeah. It's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So this has been this has been sitting on this bench since the late 60s, maybe early 70s from um, from the size of this pot. Um, there we go. Hey. So you can see, I mean, look at that. The roots just had absolutely enveloped it and then just the plant just left. It probably hasn't been alive in this pot since the, whatever, mid-70s, late 70s. <laughs> so amazing. Um, but yeah, so that was a 8-inch, 2-gallon, 3-gallon pot. And that's where it all started. You can see the table. This is an old redwood table. Um, which was pretty standard um, back in the day in California. This stuff will last forever. Well, here it is, the aftermath. Um, my estimate is that there is about 350 pounds of, of plant material here. Um, I'm gonna take it all outside, organize it um, so it's presentable and, and show you guys what what came down off of off the wall here and off this table um, and the table is another 50 pounds or so there's uh, the roots are the roots are six inches thick in some places and uh, so yeah I'm going to pile this stuff up and show you what's left okay here we are outside out back Behind the greenhouse, I kind of stacked everything up. That was the chickens out and about. So, this is one piece here. Bromeliad. There's a bunch of other stuff in there. Um, but that's you know, probably as big a specimen as most of the most of the viewers have seen, just in and of itself. And 
move on to the next pile. That's the trash pile. <clears throat> That's just the waste material. And then here's a pot I found inside. And here's the pot that it originally was growing in. Which is kind of cool. And then that pile there, those are all divisions with new growths on them. Three feet tall. And you know, they all have new growths. I'll count them later. There's probably, oh, I don't know, between 125 and 200 there, new leads. And then, here, I'll move the camera. Here, let's go in a little bit closer. Here we go. So these are two, three, four, big pieces that has another species in it. That's definitely an encyclia. This is an encyclia here and then the, the lelia is in back. Look at those roots, they're so pretty. Another, another growth. Here's another one. This is all, this was closer to the center. This is all root mass here, all of it. And then move the camera again. Here's the piece I'm probably gonna put back on the wall. was the one closest to the ceiling. I don't know, probably 50 or 75 growths there. And then... And these are plants that came out of the middle of the... or somewhere in the orchid itself. Let's go through those and see what's there. Streptocarpus, it's not in super great shape, but it's still alive. I think this is a Streptocarpella. It's doing just fine. Oh, here's an orchid. There's a little orchid there hanging on. Who knows what that is? That looks like a that looks like a seedling actually hanging on there. Hope you guys can see that. <laughs> That's kind of cool. And then this is Pleurothallus, probably Restrepoides. That was, I found way down in the middle of it. It's a cool plant. And then this is Bulbophyllum daisy chain. And here's a brand new flower spike, another new flower spike. So it was doing just fine. I think that's it so thanks you guys for watching um, it was kind of a bittersweet uh, little adventure there because that plant is old um, and it's kind of like cutting down an old walnut tree or an old oak tree it's uh, sometimes it has to be done but it doesn't mean you have to like doing it so um, thank you again uh, this is Blaine with orchids for the people and uh, Visit our website, it's orchidpeople.com. And if you have any questions, we have tons and tons of plants that aren't listed on the website. So if you're looking for something, please give us a call or drop us an email. And I look forward to doing the next video.
talk to you later.